That's a that's a great um, characterization. I'm just learning about it, kind of, you know, because like I was saying, just getting into the creative process. But yeah, I, I, when I finished the first piece recently, it was kind of like almost like death, almost. You know, what I mean, like it was it was kind of neat to finish, but I was like, yeah. oh, you know, goodbye. You know, like yeah. I'm not going to be wor working on this anymore. Yeah, there is a sadness, right? It's... And you could keep working on it, but then you know, it's just finding that balance. Maybe that, maybe yeah. it's like what mothers feel when their children grow up and, Perhaps, and leave the yeah. house is that feeling of, you know, you've nurtured and raised this baby that's been your creative project for so long. And now, yes. you know, my baby's going into the world. Totally. You know? Wow. That's a great analogy. Mm -hmm. That's a great analogy. Well, on that note, I'm going to, um, we're here with Deb Cheney, a wonderful artist and mother. And, um, we've been talking about artists in our midst and mama don't allow. And before that we, um, we were talking to Deb about the creative process, and we're also joined by my co-host, Molly Caron, on the phone. Hello. Here, hello. And um, Molly, thank you so much for joining. I love listening to Deb um, because you make you sound so sane, Deb, how you've taken your ha all the tricks in your in your past of science and um, and and project completion and in your organizational skills, and you've woven them in to a successful creative life where parenting and art happen. It's it's a lesson to me to hear you. Well, thank you. I totally agree with Molly because it takes a little bit of um, sanity, which I, I I suspect you are saying, to take it and and think, okay, I've got to make a plan here and follow things through. As a mother, one of my frustrating uh, hurdles is that there's a lot of little things on the go all the time and it's hard to finish them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, I was wondering if you have any advice for somebody like me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you're, it sounds like your own projects. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, like, I, I think create this sign on your hopefully home office door that says, uh, Mom is working, keep out. I mean, I think setting boundaries, and it's hard for us to do as moms because we, we want to give everything to our kids all the time. But, you know, if we do have a passion or a hobby or something that we want to um, complete, it does take our time and, and focus, and, and we have to set draw the line somewhere. Um, right. And that's hard. I, I have a lot of guilt. I mean, there's there's lots we didn't talk about in yeah. <laughs> perspectives of parenting. It, there's 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 no easy answer. No. Yeah. But it's a great model, too. It's great modeling for your kids to, to be able to set those boundaries. You know, like if, mm -hmm. if you're always giving of yourself and not taking care mm -hmm. of yourself, then your kids are never going to learn how to do that themselves. So for you to mm -hmm. set that, I mean, it's really impressive, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. To have the courage. Um, and even getting it together to go down and do a volunteer radio show every week, which, <laughs> Kara, thank you, you're doing such a oh. great uh, hosting <laughs> job today. Oh, Molly, you it's, always do. It's so, no, but I just love the, um, the that what, what we're all doing is translating that spontaneity and resourcefulness that mothers need, that mothers and uh, all people have in them, and then, you know, channeling it to and communicating because you're always modeling your behavior so children can learn and and then we we have a like a teacher in us whether we like it or not right it's just uh, it's it just happens point. Yeah. sorry so molly you were you were um you had a few things that you wanted to share uh just today because i didn't go down there i've been painting in the backyard with scarlet and arranging rocks and just when Deb was talking about how when you look under a microscope and you look at paint, the pigments look like rocks. I was painting <laughs> and looking at rocks. <laughs> and it was like this loop of information going through me. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> a confluence. So I think Easter is about getting creative with kids. Yes, I definitely think so. And just like it's based on a very, um, it's like pagan originally, yeah. right? So. Yeah. But yes, thank you so much, Molly. Okay, That's well, funny. onward. Enjoy your families and uh, enjoy enjoy your creative creative side. Yes, thank you, Molly. I'm gonna hang up and let you close that. All right. Well, thanks. So, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the sunshine easy. there. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 That was the great Molly Caron, and um, she uh, she just loves the work you do, Deb, and loves what you're saying. So. Thank really you. glad she was able to join. Um, so we're here with Deb Cheney, um, artist and mother, and we've been talking about the creative process and um, how she has the space to do what she does and how she how she does it and um, the process and the things that she's written about. And um, 
Deb, we are coming up on the final segment of, of the hour, so I was just going to ask you, for the people just tuning in, um, how we can find out more about what you do and more about Artists in Our Midst, which you're involved with and um, is coming right up. So um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, Kara, thank you. Um, basically, everything's on my website. So that's www.debchaney.com, and that's spelled D E B. C-H-A-N-E-Y. And if you go to the events page, all the current shows, uh, as well as Artists in Our Mitts, the opening tonight at the Beaumont Studios, and my current exhibit at Volution Salon, all the details are on that page. I do write a blog as well that's updated weekly. So if you want to keep... Um, tabs on what what's going on i do offer free demonstrations around the city and um, workshops and so on and everything's up on the website so you're welcome to go there and and get all the information that you need thank Great. you um yeah and if you don't mind saying the website again it's debchaney.com and that's spelled d-e-b-c-h-a-n-e-y dot com great and um if you don't mind saying the artists in our midst one again i will one more time because it's kind of in our midst is www dot a r t i s t in our midst spelled m i d s t and our show for artists in our midst is coming up at the end of the month april 28th 29th at the roundhouse and then that weekend april 30th and may 1st we'll have open studios all over the west side of vancouver and we'd love for you to drop in and meet us in person and see our work in our workplaces that's great. I think I look forward to doing that at some point with my family. It's, I'm guessing it's something that the family can do together. Uh, yeah, I think it would be a great. You could just pick a cluster of studios or a few of them and, right. and just drop in. And most of us will have music playing and treats. And, wow, yeah. And mm -hmm. you were mentioning for the opening tonight at 8, you, you said that there's going to be painting also, There is. Right? It's also a painting party, which Beaumont Studios offers on Thursday nights. Wow. Anyone can come. They have paints and brushes, and you can bring your own canvas, or they have canvas available. Wow, that's amazing. And that's every Thursday they do that. You know, again, I would check on the Beaumont yeah. Studios website. But they are doing it tonight. Though. Yeah, they're yeah. doing it for sure tonight. Okay, yeah. now that sounds like a lot of fun. I guess you have to dress appropriately for that, hey? <laughs> Overalls is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, well, thank you so much, Deb, for, for this and um, for talking about Artists in Our Mids and your, your show and work and just just all the things you talked about. Thank you so much. Um, we, we played um, Banana Phone early in the hour. That was done um, off of Raffi's uh, Country Goes Raffi CD, and that was by Rhonda Vincent. That was at the beginning, right after the theme song, which is all, also by Raffi, It Takes a Village. Good old Raffi. And um, so I, we played this because um, somebody special <laughs> likes this. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, uh, well, that would be my daughter, Ruthie Firefly. Yes. And um, it's a pretty cute song. I mean, you can pick up a banana and... Ring, 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 yes. ring, banana phone. Yeah. I mean, it's just a great little song. You can't go wrong with that song. And it's a safe phone, too, right? It's yeah. not like the other kind of wireless kind oh, of phones yeah. or whatever. Where they make long-distance calls. Right. And, yeah. Right, right, yeah. So it's uh, both uh, cheap and safe. <laughs> Though they're imported, right? They are imported, yeah. so it does have some sort of uh, eco emissions, right? So And it but, makes you laugh. But, that's, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. yeah. So and on that note, um, thank you so much to Deb Cheney. Thank you so much uh, to Lily Robinson for joining joining us today and um, thanks to Christina Boltby of Artists in Our Midst and Ellie O'Day with The Culch for helping to organize the ins these interviews and um, and I'm Kara Ko and thank you so much for uh, Molly's call also Molly Caron and thanks to you for tuning in today.